tragedy in Oakville this weekend. An elderly man was killed last night when he was struck by a car and residents of the area are saying this death occurred at a dangerous intersection. Al Sweeney has the details. Houghton police say the collision happened at about 8 Saturday night when the 89-year-old Oakville man was crossing at the busy intersection of Trafalgar Road and Marlborough Court, north of the QEW. He was struck by a Honda Civic going north on Trafalgar and was killed. This intersection is notorious for being so treacherous. Even I've had a couple of near incidences myself, but I'm fairly able-bodied myself. But this guy was with a walker. It's really sad. The Honda stayed on the scene. The driver is identified by police as a 44-year-old Oakville woman. Neighbors say some drivers on these roads go too fast and should slow down. For an 89-year-old man to be killed, and in my area, five minutes away, a young girl got killed riding her bike just a couple years ago. Like, clearly it's an issue that needs to be dealt with. They need to check for the pedestrians. So it is busier yeah. for, in the sidewalks. Police say the man who was killed was crossing the road using a walker. Residents say the traffic lights don't leave a lot of time for someone going slowly. When the light changes, the walk signal flashes white for about six seconds. Then the don't walk signal starts flashing. In all, pedestrians have about 30 seconds to cross. That could be tough for someone crossing six lanes of traffic with a walker or other mobility issues. I don't think for an old guy it's, it's enough for 30 seconds to cross. People in the area tell us tonight they're considering a petition calling for slow down signs and more traffic enforcement following this weekend tragedy. Al Sweeney, CHCH News, Oakville.